In this video, you're going to learn how to set up Touch OSC on your iPad so that you can use it to control your Worship Keys main stage rig wirelessly on stage. Now, the first thing you're going to do is go to your iPad's App Store. And you're going to type in Touch OSC. Once the search results are up, you should see two different apps. First is called Touch OSC MK1, the other is called Touch OSC. Now, the MK1 version is actually the outdated version of the app which means it's for older iPads that don't support the newer OS. So we're not going to worry about that today. We're actually going to focus on the newer and upgraded app that's just called Touch OSC. So once we purchase that and download that to our iPad, it should look something like this. And you should see a big black square. Great. So now that we have that installed on our iPad, step two is going to be to download a software called Touch OSC Bridge. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow our iPad to communicate with our MacBook wirelessly. What we'll do for that is go to Google and we're gonna type in Touch OSC. We're gonna to go to the first link that pops up. And this is Hexler's main page, which is the company that creates to Touch OSC. We're gonna scroll down to the very bottom until we see Touch OSC Bridge. We're gonna download that for Mac. Awesome, so once that's installed, you're gonna to go to your applications and you should see an application called Touch OSC Bridge. I'm gonna go ahead and open that now. Okay, and once you open that, you should not see anything pop up on your screen. It's actually an application that is meant to be running in the background. So if you head up to your top menu bar, you should see uh, a little square with a B. This means that Touch OSC Bridge is successfully running and this is what we want. So once we've done that, the next step is to get the Worship Keys Touch OSC template on your iPad. Now, when you downloaded Worship Keys Member Edition or Standard Edition, uh, you should see a bunch of files that look like this. We're gonna focus on this worshipkeys.tosc and we're gonna airdrop that to our iPad. Once we do that, a message should pop up on our iPad and I'm going to click Accept. And immediately we have the template in our iPad. What I like to do first and foremost is just click the fit button, which just sizes it appropriately for my iPad. And then I'm gonna check the connections by clicking this chain link window. And we're gonna hit the MIDI tab. I'm just gonna make sure that my send port and my receive port are set to bridge one. And to do that, all you have to do is just click browse and from the drop down, select bridge one. If it doesn't show up for you, all it means is that Touch OSC Bridge is not open on your Mac. Next thing I'm gonna do is hit the Bridge tab. And this is where I'm gonna connect my iPad to my MacBook. And I'm gonna just click Browse. And I'm gonna click my MacBook Pro. And instantly it should snap to the IP address that's associated with your Mac. All right, so once you've done this, we're gonna click Done. So the last thing we have to do, step number four, is open up our main stage template. And once we have that open, we're gonna to go to layout and we're gonna go over to this little gear icon. We're gonna scroll down to import layout. Now, the reason why we have to do this is because Worship Keys by default comes with a layout that's for the Korg Nano Control 2, which is a different controller. And so we're gonna to have to import a Touch OSC layout so that our iPad can actually control the template. So we're gonna click Import Layout. And again, we're gonna go back to those files that we had downloaded earlier in the Worship Keys disk image. You should see two different layouts here. We have a WK Touch OSC layout. This is the one that we want. So we'll click it, we'll click Import, Continue Import, awesome. Great, and once this happens, you should see no visible changes. What's actually happened is all of the complex routings and mappings associated with the template have now switched over to be compatible with Touch OSC. So we're gonna click Edit, we're gonna click Perform. And once we've done that, we're also going to put our iPad into Perform mode by clicking this Play button up here. Fantastic, okay, so now that we have our Touch OSC template up and running, we've imported the layout, we should have all connections ready to go. 
I'm gonna go ahead and test this connection by changing the patches on my iPad. So you can see all the patches are moving down. And once we get to the performance patches, all of the buttons, faders, and knobs on your iPad should sync up with what you see on your Worship Keys template on your Mac. And we can actually move faders up and down. And as you can see, this offers you real-time control over everything that's going on, all of the sounds in your template. You can turn buttons on and off. You can move your knobs. You can actually trigger your latch pads. You can turn on your drum loops. You can do everything that's possible within Worship Keys straight from your iPad. So that concludes this tutorial. If you have any questions about this process or something isn't working right for you, check out our support page at worshipstart.com or you can use the messenger chat to message someone from our team.